What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear. Here today we're doing another unboxing here. This knife comes to me via the Lefty EDC knife pass around. So shout out to Kevin, AKA Lefty EDC. Go ahead and give him a subscribe to his channel. And this knife is gonna be linked down below as well as any other knife that you see in this video. When you do use those links, if you do end up purchasing a knife, it does help out the channel at no extra cost to you. But that of course is entirely up to you that being said doing the honors today we have the devo mip and and believe it or not this time around we have two options you have my very own the devo nip here on titanium white mountain knives exclusive that was a gift from kevin and recently been checking out the blackjack <laughs> i keep calling it the blackjack the jack sparrow with the pearl carbon fiber going on bell satin finish here i think i might just use this one uh for the honors today so let's go ahead and cut into this package here shall we let's see what do we have what do we have all right all right all right do we have one knife do we have two knives do we have more knives all right, there we go. That was everything in the box. This time around, we got a Lefty EDC sticker. Bam, that's the first time I get one of those. Thank you, Kevin. And we got two JD for EDC stickers as well. Again, check out both channels. They do an awesome job going over knife and EDC content. So if you like the content in this channel, you're gonna also love the content in their channel as well. So definitely check them out. All right, last time I unboxed the knife and it came in an Oreo knives case. It wasn't even that kind of knife. So I'm not even gonna make any assumptions. I think I know what's in here, but to be honest, I really don't know. You guys probably have a better idea based on the title and thumbnail, but let's go ahead and open this thing here. Zipper pouch and bam, we have three knives. <laughs> <laughs> we have three knives that we're gonna be checking out here. So as you guys know, for search engine optimization, right? When you're a small YouTuber, making different videos for different knives with different titles specific to those knives definitely helps. About 30% of my traffic to my channel comes from search. Just people who are specifically searching for a given knife make and model. So, all right, all right, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's check out the next knife. Last knife in here. I think I saved the best for last. If you guys are ready, I'm ready get this thing out shall we boom here it is and this is the tuya knives wrath the wrath such a cool name awesome awesome name honestly uh right off the bat i'm noticing the frag pattern going on it looks really really good here very nice and contour here towards the edge so that's nice the fit and finish all around looks really really good and you have a front flipper here we have thumb deployment hopefully we can reverse flick it as well alignment right there looks really really good and yeah without further ado honestly the feel on this thing is awesome okay let's go ahead and get this thing flipped open shall we which one should we do first let's, let's start with the safe bet the thumb deployment here we go bam check this thing out all right let's get this thing a wipe right have the camera do it justice oof check out this blade right here this is a beautiful beautiful thing just gorgeous all through and through man we have all kinds of bell sign finishes going on and all kinds of possible angles so first things first let's break this down right so we have a hollow ground going on here it is a compound grind here so hollow ground going on here looks great feels great and then flat grind going on towards the front that's pretty neat and that also adds a lot of rigidity to the tip as well not that you're going to use your knife as a pry bar or anything like that and a nice little switch going on here also at the top so that right there looks amazing amazing so let's give it another wipe here now that i ran my fingers through it let's get a feel for the blade on this thing all right that feels nice and sharp feels really really good we'll do a paper and cardboard cutting test here towards the end of the video it is a frame lock with a steel insert right there for steel on steel contact oh yes all right that that lock bar is nice and easy to push out of the way right there it doesn't it, it gets the job done but it's also not extremely difficult to move out of the way and wow okay uh, we always want to avoid with a frame lock putting additional pressure on the lock bar and yes it fires very very well we have ball bearings here All right pretty good drop shot action if i'm being honest All right woof check out that action wow so all you have to do is Give it a little bit of, you know, wow. <laughs> a little bit of an idea of where it needs to go and it knows exactly where it needs to go. 
awesome drop shot action right there oof okay next let's try the flipper here nice and jimped these are some very deep jimping going on here so let's see all right let's test it here we go yes that feels good all right bam all right can we do it with the index finger we sure can all right that is money right i have been checking out more and more front flippers lately the one thing that really makes me scared about front flippers is if it's not done well if the front flipper is not done well you can risk you know like beating up your finger if you will which will hurt if it's not executed properly but when they do it very well on a knife man you can get that action you can get it to the ploy every single time and that feels like a money flip right there bam so yeah look look what just happened there this time so i have my index finger a little bit too high up so you do want to make room for the front flipper tab to be able to tuck in and not hit you in the index finger so yeah as long as you keep that in mind so maybe you get a, a grip lower down here boom you can get this thing going oh that one sounded pretty good oh holy smokes yeah that thing fires like nobody's business okay I, i'm gonna tell you this right now i'm gonna tell you this right now it's only been a few seconds after checking this thing out but so far it's making an awesome impression so let's check out the reverse flick oh okay See, the, the reverse flick could either be a could either be a break it could be a make it or break it deal for me it's a little tough here to do the reverse flick without putting additional pressure on the luck bar that's why i keep failing it a little bit so it's a little bit more of a hit or miss whereas in the thumb deployment you have a lot more access you have a little less access on the lock bar side and that's intentional obviously because in order for you to disengage the lock bar check out the access from this side right you, you're able to get really good access to that lock bar from this side and it even has a little bit of a jimping to it which is very minimal but executed like really really elegantly right check that out that is beautiful so i would say probably my least preferred would be that reverse flick right even though you can still do it right it just takes maybe a little bit of practice but there it is you can do it certainly when i say the thumb deployment of course is your classic that has to work right and the front flipper oh that front flipper is money on this one so that's a tight call right there i think i just hit the table <laughs> yeah that is a good call right there with that front flipper all right, I'm about, to <laughs> I'm about to stop flipping it right now because uh, otherwise this whole video will be me just flipping the knife. Nice pivot color going on on this side. That looks like uh, a nice, what do you call that? I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. It's the Damascus titanium pivot color. All right, we'll go with that. Anodized, looks good. You have the Tuya logo on this side that looks also wonderful and it looks like without getting on my tools because this is not a review everything else is ta hardware all around the only exception being the liner lock or lock bar insert being a t6 so which is not bad i'm telling you i love this frag pattern right here this frag pattern feels really really good what do we have as far as steel going on here? S90V. That is perfect. And I believe this is a Dave Warren design himself. So he designed this knife, Dave Warren of Tuya Knives. Uh, and yeah, awesome, awesome job here with this knife. Uh, a little bit of a finger choil uh, option going on here. So if I wanted to forward choke on this guy, even though it's a little bit small, right? You could, right? If you want to forward choke, you could. That's an option. You're going to have medium hands, not the biggest, not the smallest hands. But here's the forward choke position right there. And here's the standard grip right here. Your hammer grip. Boom. Again, medium hands, right? Have plenty of room right there. Uh, a lot of people will like, or, you know, some people will like, some people will dislike this little peak here towards the end. I mentioned this during the black beard unboxing, right? because this is another Tuya knife model and they both have that little bit of a peak towards the end. So it might not be an issue for you and it probably won't be an issue for most people. It's only when folks have like, you know, XXXL hands, ginormous hands, maybe their pinky lands somewhere right about where that peak is and it will make for an uncomfortable sort of grip 
right if you will so maybe like making this round would have been the better approach but hey that's their design not mine i'm just saying in general folks with bigger hands might struggle a bit with that peak there it's just a quick first observation if you will for me it feels just fine ergonomically speaking this knife feels really good the pocket clip also you barely even remember that it is there i want to say this pocket clip is also titanium yeah as it is the handle i mean this is a premium knife so titanium all around s90v steel going on with the dual ground that looks savage to say the least this hollow ground portion right here is my favorite if you ask me the way the light hits this thing holy smokes that is a money shot right there look at this oof and honestly uh the one thing that i didn't notice right off the bat first of all i love the frag pattern going on here but what you may not realize until you actually have it in your hands maybe if you have a frag pattern knife by now you obviously already know but aside from the cool aesthetics you also get functionality right the, i feel like the frag pattern when you're really bearing down on it it really gives you good grip like these fingers here they sink into that design right and man you got a good grip right there uh, i'm a sucker for continuous patterns i love of patterns on a knife that just start they carry all the way through on the handle right similar deal here going on with the Demco 8020.5 and the milled diamond pattern right here love continuous patterns as a matter of fact let's do a quick uh, size comparison on this bad boy here so here's your Demco 8020.5 it's a little bit shorter here's your shark cup the smaller brother on the aluminum handle and slicer blade it's also a little bit shorter you guys take a look there for yourself here's the spider co pm2 very popular knife from spider co and of course the smaller brother the pair three and the raft is going to be somewhere in the middle it's not as long as the pm2 but definitely a little bit longer than the pair three take a look there for yourself of course we got the rat model one one of the longest knives in the channel for the longest time the wrap model 2 so same deal going on here the wrath is longer than the model 2 but shorter than the model 1 and last but not least we have the very popular cjrb pyrite alt button lock the warrencliffe blade and the crossbar lock vosteed raccoon with a drop point blade and this guy's going to be more closer to vosteed raccoon territory right maybe a hair longer right whereas the pyrite's a tad bit smaller you guys take a look there so yeah, just quick size comparisons to give you a ballpark. Again, this is just an unboxing and first impressions. Let's do a quick paper cutting test as well. All right, let's see how it does. So yeah, so those first initial bites are pretty good. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was sharp. Man, we are on a street. So far, these three knives that we have unboxed all feel pretty good. Of course, I have to jinx myself. That's maybe more user error. Yeah, we're not getting cut paper, all right? What about some cardboard? Let's see, we got some everyday cardboard right here. We got the diapers flavor of the week. And remember when cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular like this, but rather at an angle. And I know the hollow grind is gonna put in work. Yeah, see what I did there is I sunk the corner. So to avoid doing that, I'm going to do the finger forward choke position and bam, boom. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, I think that about uh, speaks for itself, doesn't it? Right? Wow. This thing is really, really sharp. What a what a wonderful knife. Uh, read it in the comments. Let me know on a scale from 1 through 10 how sharp is this guy. Uh, obviously, it's not even, you know, it doesn't even have the out-of-the-box sharpness. It has certainly been going through the knife pass around here for quite some time. But man, oh man, does it feel really, really sharp. Well, there you guys have it. That is the Tuya Wrath from Tuya Knives. A Dave Warren design and yeah, this guy will be linked down below I'm not entirely sure on the price on this guy I haven't had a chance to check that out so if you guys want to check the price again it will be linked in the description if you are thinking of perhaps buying this knife and use those links it does help out the channel at absolutely no extra cost to you of course that will be greatly appreciated but the decision is entirely up to you awesome wonderful man first impressions on this thing are through the roof 
love the fit and finish the materials here the execution and uh, you guys know the drill by now right this is just an unboxing first impressions video obviously i'm going to be carrying this knife for the next uh, week or so trying to gather as much feedback as i possibly can before i have to send it forward to the next youtuber that's going to be reviewing it but honestly i can't wait to edc this thing you know this thing is going right in my pocket the second this video is over oof yeah, if you guys made it to this point, you guys are the real MVPs. So I really love and appreciate all of your support. Go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already. It is absolutely free and it does help out this video reach a larger audience. Also, if you aren't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make nice content like this on an ongoing basis. And I promise you it'll be worth coming back for more. If you want to support the channel a step further, there's a link for Patreon in the description. Or you can simply become a member right here on YouTube. You'll have access to exclusive perks. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this entire time this knife is just a treat i can't wait to edc this thing honestly awesome awesome knife check out the unboxing on the other tuya this one is the blackbeard right kind of you know reminds me of like a pirate name from pirates of the caribbean blackbeard just unbox this one in the channel as well so check that one out i'll put a video card right here if you guys want to check that one out next thank you guys for all your love and support once again love you all really appreciate you guys checking out this content and i'll see you guys on the next one peace